Hello everyone, this is Mukundar Nagavan and in this video we are going to see basic CSS selectors and understanding the difference between selector and locator. What are CSS selectors? CSS selectors are patterns used to select the elements you want to style or interact with on the web page. It is in the very general concept because as a web developer you will create or generate the HTML pages but you want to make the styling over the HTML and you want to refer that in your style sheet. So in the style sheet you want to refer some element to color, to style it, to make some web action. In the context of Playwright, CSS selectors also can be act as a locator, which will help us to identify and interact and make the automation. The only difference between the web developer and automation engineer would be, web developer will use the CSS selectors to make the styling part, whereas we use the CSS selectors to do the automation. Let's try to understand how CSS selector works here. Here you can see on your top left hand side index.html, right hand side basic selectors or style.css. Below is the web page and it has been open in the local server. As you see here, the HTML page gives the entire structure how the HTML page looks like. For example, it has the title, it has the body, it has the header, it has the different divisions and some of the inputs like a text box, password box, email box and the different categories. On in your right hand side, you can see the CSS file styles.css. For example, let's take the first line division id unique id and this will be the unique id this is an id selector because you can match with the text now in order to refer this inside our css file we are using the id and id starts with hash symbol in case if you have the class name it will start with a dot for using this you need to have the connection between these two things so that's the reason you can see here at the head section a link style sheet and it has been linked to the styles.cs so that this html page will be styled by using this file which is styles.cs and obviously we will refer id or class name or attributes from the html to make the styling part inside our styles.css now we have seen for id hash has been used for class it starts with dot for attributes for example here you can see type is equal to text whenever you see this kind of input so that means that input itself is a tag and you have the key and value which are attributes so type is the attribute and its value is text in this similar fashion you might have the different attributes in the same tag by using these attributes if you want to select that element or if you want to refer that element in css you will be using the tag name square brackets and the attribute and its name then you can start making the styling for simple understanding let's take the unique id since it's the id i'm just making the hash symbol and i'm giving the styling part as blue and bold so that's the same thing here you are seeing in the html file now you have the idea how this html css works together to make the styling part. Since these are the two different files, you can reuse the styles.css for another HTML. At the same time, you can club multiple elements as a group and you can make the styling. How do you group? Just making with same ID or with same class. Most of the times, ID will be unique for that element. So obviously you will club with class name and class starts with dot. So let's jump into the playwright perspective. Now we have seen what are CSS selectors. Basic CSS selectors. So obviously already we have seen hash symbol and dot symbol will be used for ID and classes respectively and we have seen the html code snippet here also it is mentioned the first two lines will explain how the html looks like for example class has the value as example class and in second line id is equal to example id in case if you want to use the same id and class you will be directly mentioning those things inside your playwright script await page dot click since it's the class you will start with a dot if it is the id you will start with hash simple as it is and attribute selectors the same way you will have the input tag and it has the type text and type is equal to password and different other attributes like name. And here you are going to use the tag name followed by the square brackets and after that the attribute name followed by the attribute value. And here you have the different combinations such as like starts with, ends with, contains and so on. For example, if you want to have the value starts with user, you will use the caret symbol. If you want to use ends with, then you will use the dollar symbol. Or if you want to use contains, you will be using the asterisk symbol. So these are the basic CSS attribute selectors. Now the main question here, selectors versus locators. Most of the time in Playwright, people start to use selectors and locators interchangeably, but it has a different meaning and different way of working. Let's understand first selector. So far, whatever we have seen as a string, low level strings, inside the string value, we have given the CSS locator. So far, whatever we have seen, all the selectors has been given inside the single quotes or double quotes, which means that it is the string value. So playwright selectors are low level strings used to specify how to find element, like we have seen CSS. And obviously, XPath also will be coming under the selectors, but we'll see in the later part. The main catch here is like this needs manual handling because 
since it's a string it could be any value or it could be wrong also so you can see the examples below so css selectors you can use the different values like a hash dat css selectors you can see the example for example dot class name hash id xpath we will be seeing in the future almost it's same text selectors text is equal to submit again it will be inside the string attribute selectors we have seen with or without tag followed by the square brackets inside the square brackets you will be having the attribute and its value what is locator see locators is a higher level api inside the playwright this is where playwright makes the difference between the selector and locator rather than directly giving the value to the click method or any other method as a string or as a selector here you will create the locator first of all why do we need to create the locator because when you use the selectors it will not have the automatic waiting if that element is not found you need to have the mechanism to wait for the element to appear whereas if you use the locators play rate will take care of the automatic waiting and obviously these locators can be chained for example it can be used to filter out the next element and assertions will be easily available for the locator api for example visible hidden enabled and so on you can see the just basic code snippet here in Instead of directly using the selector, I am just passing that selector into the locator method, page dot locator. Then I am creating the object of locator type. Now by using this locator type, I can still call the click method. I can use the assertions like expect locator to be visible and different chainings or different advanced concept can be done in the future. Now the main question, shall I go with play rate locators or selectors? Very simple answer would be locators most of the time will be preferred even though you use the selectors in order to create the locator still you need to use the locator as we discussed it gives the higher level of api that automatically handles the waiting time element states and reducing the flakiness in your test cases and obviously since it's the object and api you can use it as a different class and you can use the different assertions over that so that's the reason play rate locators are most preferred in case if you are starting with play rate so let's go into the example and see how it works Let's start from the scratch. Here you can see the simple play rate test where we are opening the locally open the index.html. A couple of places we have used on the selectors. Here you can see dot dot class name and the attribute selector input and the attribute name and its value. Since it's a fill method, we are giving the value to be filled in that. Sometimes we can use the locators and here page dot locators and the same CSS selectors has been given. However, this time the CSS selectors is not used directly. It has been used to create the locator object. Here you can see it is type of locator. Now with this object, you can fill it, you can make the assets and you can do a lot of things. Since this video is focusing on only basic CSS selectors and the difference between the locators and selectors, we are stopping here only. Then we can fill another field as email, my email, and let's start execute. Now NPX play rate test will execute all the test in the test folder. However, we are going to execute only CSS demo.spec.ts. That too we are executing in the UI mode. If you execute this, you will be getting the UI screen to execute and you can see all the test. Click on this run and it's completed. Go to the after screenshot. Just open the screenshot here. You can see my user, password and my email. Everything has been filled. Now let's summarize everything from the starting. We have seen what are CSS selectors, how it will be useful for the developer point of view and in automation perspective. In both the ways, we are using CSS selectors to refer something from the HTML to make styling part or automation part. In the context of Playwright, we are using CSS selectors to automate. Basic selectors we have seen ID and the class ID starts with hash symbol, class starts with dot symbol. Attribute selectors, again, we will be using the tag name followed by the square brackets. Inside the square brackets, we will be using the attribute name and its value. Even we can improve that by using the regular expression like starts with, ends with, and contains. Last but not least, we have seen the main difference between selectors and locators. To understand and memorize this one very easily, selectors start with yes, that means it's a simple string. String selector, yes and yes. And these strings can be including your CSS selectors, export selectors, text selectors, and attribute selectors. Then we have seen the main advantages of the locators over selectors, such as automatic weighting, chaining, and assertions. And this is the API. Basically, you will create the object of locator by using the any of the selectors. The code snippet is page.locator. Then you will use the, the actual selectors. Then by using the object, you will do the further actions. The final conclusion is most of the time, playwright locators are preferred because of its advantages over the selectors. So this is all about this video. Thanks for watching and always be a rainbow in others cloud.